Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some MLB news. Uh, we had some breaking news here about 28 or something, nearly 30 minutes ago. Um, I will do some super video, but I don't want to use my daily video link because I'm just going to do 8 videos and I have like 8 or 9, like 24 hours or whatever, but let's get into it. So, the Los Angeles Dodgers and Tampa Bay Rays are in agreement on a trade to send right-handed pitcher Tyler Glassnow and outfielder Manuel Margot to the Dodgers. For right-handed pitcher Ryan Pepio and outfielder Johnny DeLuca and contingent on Glassnow signing an extension with LA, which is expected, sources tell ESPN. So this is the trade here that's been reported, rumors going around, and Tyler Glassnow is officially a Dodger. And Emmanuel Margot, which I like him in center field. We need a defensive center fielder. I think Alma's more of a corner guy and left or right. And you got Emmanuel Margot with his um, defense in center field. And he can steal some bases as well. And Tyler Glass now, well, yes, he's, he does get injured sometimes. But whenever he pitches, he's a freaking he's a freaking good man. And hopefully we can add Yon Motto as well. So the extension window for Tyler went for Tyler Glass now. It uh, opened this morning, sources say it, and there's a strong belief from those involved that it will get done. Details on the trade and everything it entails are live at ESPN. It's not going to be a massive overpay. They're able, they're able to do that when they're able to do that when without him they're still they'll still win like a hundred plus games. As long as he's healthy come October, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just going to enjoy the comments of people people uh, crying because their teams don't spend money or make trades. But I like this move. I know people are like, oh, the Dodgers are lame. This is a fair and square trade. I mean, the Dodgers are just trying to get their team better because they have to. I mean, the pitching staff wasn't good last year. It was kind of inconsistent outside of Clayton Kershaw. And they're trying to be more competitive than last year. Make some changes. Because us Dodgers fans want changes. And they made some pretty good changes, I thought, so far this offseason. And right after the Otani intro, it happens. And I had a feeling this was going to happen. But this doesn't rule out Yamato for the Dodgers. This doesn't rule him out. The Dodgers are going to get... We're going to get him, too. And all their starting pitcher pitching was hurt or suspended, Urias, at the end of last year. But I think Walker Buehler's going to come back this year. We're going to have him, um, Glassnow, Kershaw. So we're looking pretty stacked. I don't know we even way Papio, but his FIP wasn't really good last year. Kind of got lucky pitching with a lot of ground ball outs and stuff like that. And this is kind of a salary dump if you think about it for Tampa Bay. I know they didn't get Randy with Rosarina piece tease that put show out on his Instagram, but I'll take Manuel Margot. Good defensive center fielder. I like the move. And t the Tyler Glass now trade will go through and he will be a Dodger. So it's, it just came in like two minutes ago. It'll be an it will be official. Um, I don't know what the contract extension will be, but he's definitely going to sign a contract extension, most likely. I shouldn't say most likely. It's going to probably gonna be 100%. The contract, I don't know what it will be. It'll probably be $25 million arbitration or whatever. But yes, the trade is going through. Uh, sources confirmed. So yeah, that's really all to say about the... Dod about the Tyler Glass and the Dodgers thing, so... Let's get into some more stuff. So, uh, Jack Flaherty uh, to the Tigers. It's a one-year, uh, $14 million deal for um, Jack Flaherty. He really wasn't good last year. He stinks, and he kind of has a bad attitude as well. I mean, he was pretty bad last year for the Cardinals and for the um, Baltimore Orioles. I'm not going to say it's an overpay. Cause it's, I mean, maybe it kind of is overpay because $14 million for Jack Flaherty kind of too much money from how he pitched last year. I know things can change, but I don't know about this. There's way better pitchers to, they could have got on the freaking um, market, but yeah, pretty big overpay, uh, in my opinion, for uh, Jack Flaherty. So, um, 
Tyler Maley uh, to the Rangers as a two-year deal. It's a solid move. Uh, the Rangers need one or two more pieces, and I think they'll be able to repeat one of those as a healthy DeGrom. If they get that, I think they'll be one of the fight. They'll be, definitely be, have a shot to repeat, but, you know, it's hard to repeat in baseball. But I, th I think that's a solid signing for um, uh, the Rangers. It's a really solid, really solid death option, options who should be able to provide, like, quality innings, eight-up innings. So, good move uh, for the Rangers. Righty reliever Dwayne Underwood Jr. is signing a minor league contract with the Yankees with an MLB spring invite. Whoa, the stove is hot, Dwayne Underwood Jr. The big signing all Yankees fans were waiting for. A pitcher, Dwayne Underwood Jr. The big signing Yankees fans hoped. Lefty fireball Jeffrey Yawn. Signs with the Cebu Lions at MPB, uh, whose winter ball punch out celebrations went viral. He was up to 101 in the Dominican. He was a, he is a client of the MAS agency. So I don't know what this is that. I don't know if this this is uh, for email. What this means for email B, but whatever. Um, Taylor Clark gives the Brewers to two. Goes to Brewers for two Royals minor leaguers. Uh, 98th percentile chasing high whiff. Can't wait to see what he does when the Brewers pitching farm turns him into another swing and miss merchant. He wasn't that great for the Royals, but once the Brewers turn to a freaking beast pitcher. So, Yoshinabu Yamamoto is meeting with the Phillies contingent today. I don't think he's going to the Phillies, but he's meeting with the Phillies, but I don't think he's going to go there. It's either the Dodgers or the Yankees, in my opinion. But, that'd be, but if they had a Hebrew pitching staff, that'd be a pretty good pitching staff. Uh, veteran catcher yesterday, Roberto uh, Perez signed uh, Red Sox, signed with the Red Sox. So I guess he's going to be their backup catcher, maybe. So that's all from John Hamas. See if there's anything from uh, Bob N uh, Nightingale. Uh, Shoei Otani said in the press conference, opening uh, press conference, says he'll be ready by opening day to DH. Was this in? Was this even in question? He's gonna play. And he said he wanted wanted the provision in his contract. The owner Mark Walter and President Andrew Freeman says all ten years to make sure everyone's on the same page, kind of a safety net. So can't believe this is actually happening. And he says his elbow procedure was different than his original Tommy John. So it was kind of just a small procedure. Um, so yeah, it's really all from uh, Bob Nightingale. Look at John Morosi, and that'll probably be it for the video. So, Mariners uh, right-handed pitcher Bryce Miller is drawing steady trade interest as Seattle looks to add offense despite payroll limits. It is difficult to envision Miller being dealt unless the Mariners, A, acquire an impact back in the trade, and B, also had a start via trade or free agency. That would be kind of stupid, but freaking John Rossi is a freaking yapper. Like, oh, a deal is imminent, being finalized, constantly yapping, trolls Mariners fans, under consideration, makes sense for yada yada yada, states the obvious. This isn't going to happen. They're not trading Bryce Miller. Okay? It's not going to happen. But, um, yeah, that's really enough to save this video. All the news. So, um, till next time, I Peace.